So quiet and peaceful, just hear the crickets chirping, a few birds here and there, and a little bit of a breeze. It's like the perfect recipe for relaxation. However, relaxing is something that we are not doing right now because there is work to be done around here this afternoon slash evening. But what is up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today, and welcome back to another vlog. Just wrapped up inside doing work on the computer. Stupid bugs. But got the vlog uploaded, was applying for a few jobs, checking out some things with automotive, and now getting out here to do a little bit of yard work. But before we do that, I got to test the jack on my car to make sure that it's going to lift it up at least one side at a time so that way I can move forward with ordering the jack stands and not have to worry about ordering an entire kit with a jack included because if I have to go for an entire kit I'm just going to be so annoyed considering the fact that I've already got a jack here and if it's not working it'll just be it'll be a pain in the butt so for some reason we have these broken up sort of beaten up wooden poles I don't know why they're lying around, but I'm gonna try them and see if they fit in the jack so I can use them as a pole to jack things up instead of just using this tiny little handle that they got on here, because technically that just doesn't cut it. A pole needs to be there. So neither of those poles fit. The only thing that was fitting last night was a copper pipe, so I need something that is a little bit thicker, but also not as wide in diameter. So for now, having to settle for the copper pipe, I'm hoping this is going to work. In the end, I'm probably just going to buy a brand new jack with jack stands. But I'm kind of really crossing my fingers and hoping that this jack is going to work so I don't have to do that and just get the stand. So I was able to locate my car's lift point, started getting the jack up, and it won't go up any further. It looked like it was falling while I was getting it up, like I would stop and it would just start dropping slowly. But the reason I can't get it up any further is because I knew this would happen with the copper pipe. My best guess right now is to just buy a whole new set jack stand and jack all together. to get only one thing done so far because dinner is ready right now but this bush has been really overgrown I don't know if it's been in my vlogs at all but it looks awesome now <laughs> It's really funny that I end up filming stuff like that all the time because it's just something that nobody else films. And to me, some people would get a little bit annoyed by it, but I like filming it because it's different, it's unique. It's something that sort of makes my vlog stand out. It's like, hey, I did all of this yard work and I wanna show you guys what it looks like afterwards because I told you I was gonna go do it. And you know, just something that is not the same as what everybody else is doing. Now on to a little bit of an annoyance. You see how there's three buttons in the front of the speaker and there's one missing well there was four probably about two to three minutes ago and I put the speaker in my pocket so I could carry a bunch of tools back up to the shed and now I don't know where that button fell it could be anywhere in this front yard or even the backyard I've already searched all through this area walk up and down looked for a little black button and I really can't find anything so my guess is it's lost forever and I'm just gonna have to deal with it as long as I don't lose any more of those buttons I should be fine that's the one thing about this speaker is that one of those buttons and I'm pretty sure it was that specific button was already kind of broke off because they're like glued into the hole because that's what holds on the protective cover which is the life jacket which allows the speaker to flow in water but it had fallen out before it was missing and it was in my room surprisingly and I found it after like three or four months of it being gone and now it's missing again and probably missing forever but who knows I might get lucky one day and have it pop up at of nowhere however if the lawn gets mowed and it's stuck in any of this grass on the hill well then it, it's gone so been about an hour and a half almost two hours since I filmed anything wrapped up with dinner and 
got a fire going right now finally getting rid of the branches from the maple tree all of the leaves and the wood finally dried out enough that it makes perfect firewood and it doesn't cause a big problem trying to get it going it does still create a ton of smoke and a mess which is why I have the lid over top of the fire pit because of the fact that it takes the ashes from the leaves and blows them everywhere and then I have to use this copper pipe which is the one that I bent the crap out of with the jack and take the lid off because it's kind of really really hot so I am going to bring up some more brains that I thought for some reason that it'd be a good idea to tell just in case anything stupid happens even though I've been doing this for probably the last 45 minutes taking all breaks in the phone you know I don't cause too much smoke or other stuff got to break things up oh It's a lot Well, this is just the start to things. I'm not sure how this is actually gonna end up, but about a week to a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago now, I did the intro for Upstate Garage, but now I wanna have a normal intro for just launch control reviews itself. I'm trying to figure out how I want it to be, but once it's done, I think it's gonna be amazing. And also once it's done, I'm gonna post it on Instagram before it goes on any YouTube video. So from the last clip to this one, the intro completely changed on how I wanted to do it. What I was trying to do originally was have the speedometer actually look like it was going up and then play a sound effect of a car accelerating and taking off, but it just wasn't working. I couldn't figure it out. Trying to do keyframing in Sony Movie Studio absolutely sucks. If I was using Adobe, it would probably work, but the intro's completely different. I'm gonna be posting it up on Instagram, probably either literally right now or sometime tomorrow so hopefully when you're watching this it's up well the video is all posted to the launch control reviews Instagram page I really love how it came out if you want to check it out as I said link will be down in the description below head on over there check it out follow the page if you do not already show the video some love and get ready for tons more content because there's going to be a lot of content coming out on this page and on the YouTube channel and on the Twitter and on the Facebook. Another day of work is complete. Didn't accomplish everything that I wanted to today. There's still another day, which is tomorrow. is the day that you're watching this before it starts getting insanely hot around here. Like the weather is going to be almost 100 degrees by Sunday. That is gonna be absolutely nuts. We're trying to get all of our work done so that way we don't have to work on Sunday and we can actually get out of this house as a family, maybe go to Lake George or just somewhere to stay cool. Just to give you guys a reference, tomorrow it's supposed to be 75, 80 on Thursday, 87 Friday, 93 Saturday, 97 on Sunday, 94 Monday, 87 Tuesday, 87 Wednesday, 87 Thursday. It is going to be a hot freaking week. I'm also debating whether or not I film the first episode of Upstate Garage tomorrow, which would mean that my car is finally going to get washed. That became possible this evening because I found our third mysteriously missing Home Depot bucket. I knew we had three of them. I knew where one was, which was completely full of water and tied down to our canopy that we have on our deck. The second one I found behind the bush, that's the one that has the crack in the bottom and it won't hold water. The third one was locked up outside in a cabinet so the squirrels couldn't get in it because there's bird seed. So what I did was we bought more bird seed tonight. I took the bag and put it in the bucket that's cracked, put it in the cabinet, and then I took the bucket that's actually good and can hold water, and that's sitting on the deck, and all I gotta do is, you know, clean it up a little bit so it's not too horrible, even though it's most likely just going to be my rinse bucket, and we'll be golden and ready to go on the wash. I'll just have to wait till later in the day when the sun is not as bright, because not really ideal to wash your car when the sun is beating down on it because it can cause water spots and they're a pain in the butt to get off. Also still trying to figure out the whole jack situation. All of a sudden I get told stuff by my parents that my grandmother might 
have my grandfather's old jack and jack stands but I don't know if they still work I don't know what the rating is on them and I'm just getting so annoyed I'm to the point where I'm gonna buy the jack stand and then I'm going to use the scissor jack that is in my trunk and hope that it lifts my car high enough for me to get jack stands underneath and if it does work well then problem solved for now until I can get maybe a quick jack anyway guys that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now I really do love it that you found my videos and I hope that you come back for more if you enjoyed this and you so desire to slap a like on it don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel also while you're down there if you haven't already click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC vlogs is and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog remember to stay awesome keep smiling you're beautiful and I love you guys so much peace out YouTube